What can wash away our sins, my sins, your sins? There is nothing but the blood of Jesus. The blood that was shed on Calvary cross. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sin. It is the blood of Jesus that opened every door unto us. That we also become the children of the Lord. There is nothing, there is nothing. There is only one thing. But the blood of Jesus, the blood. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Yes, oh yes. Mm -hmm. Oh yes. Mm -hmm. oh, what can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood. Greetings to you, my brother, man of God, Danny Ramley. Oh my, oh, again, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the flow that makes me white as snow. No, that I found, I know nothing. Now, oh, the blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For my pardon, I see nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. For my pardon, oh, nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. Hello. Your face, a flow that makes me white as snow. And I can't, I know nothing about the blood. There is nothing. One thing, the blood of Jesus, the blood. The blood of Jesus, the Bible says, For God so loved the world, He gave His only begotten Son. And whosoever believe in Him, He will not perish, but have everlasting life. Life in Jesus. Life. Life is in Jesus. There is no way you can find life. Because it's only in Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Oh, my hope and peace. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the blood that makes me white. As long as I know nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. There is nothing, it's only one thing. The blood of Jesus, yes, oh, the blood of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you, we bless you. Thank you for once again bringing us before your presence. Your word says in your presence there is fullness of joy and right hand side, pleasures forever. Father, we thank you. We pray that, Lord, you come and minister to us. Speak to us, O Lord Jesus. As your people, we have gathered. We know that you are the only God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, we bring you greetings from God the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Everywhere that you are listening to us as our prayer, that the Lord will visit you. The word of God will come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember, there is no way, there is no other way. The only way is Jesus Christ. The Bible says, for he came. He came for his own, but his own received him not. But as many that receive him, them that believe in him, 
He gave them power to become the children of God. And so not everybody, not everybody who will know the Lord Jesus, not everybody will understand Jesus Christ. Hey, not everybody will hear the word of God. It is only for them that believes. It is only for them that believes. Jesus Christ told Mary and Martha, if you believe, you see the glory of God. Again, he told Jairus, only believe, only believe. It is few people who believe. And if you do believe, you see the glory of God. He came for his son. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And whosoever believe in him, whosoever believe in him, will have a everlasting life. And so, not everybody will believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. There are some, some people, he is just the son of the prostitute. Some people, he, he don't even exist. Some people, they don't even believe that even he came. Some say that everything about the gospel is lies. But what about you? What about you? My prayer for you, a child of God, somebody that is listening to us, that you believe. Whether you believe it or not, the word of God is true. It is not what somebody says. It is not what these people are writing. It is about what the word of God is saying. Jesus said, I go to prepare a place and I'll come back. He will come back. And one day, where will you be? Where are you going? Are you sure? I am not talking about somebody who goes to church. I am not talking about somebody who holds the Bible. I am talking about somebody who lives a righteous life, who lives a life of the Lord Jesus Christ. Remember the Bible says, for we are the light of this world. We are the light of this world. <laughs> so, <laughs> wherever you go, any place that the soul of your feet tread upon, you shine. There is something that emanates from you that affects life over there. May the Lord help us to do His will and to live the life that He has called us to do. Behold, Lord, the threats. I am talking about there are many Christians there are many Christians that are going through a lot. I don't know what you are going through. The threat, life threatening, how people are threatening you, how you are living in this midst, in the midst of people. You go to some countries that are Christians that are persecuted. I read a scripture in First Timothy chapter 4 and the verse 9 and 10. He said, this is a faithful saying and the world's wealthy of all acceptance for therefore we we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living god so long as you trust in the living god so long as you decide to do the will of god so long as you decide to live a holy life a child of god listen to me the enemy will do everything possible to disgrace you some of us we they lied on us some of us they say things about us some even say that we are not Christians. <laughs> I remember <laughs> someone came and told my brother something about a lady. And my brother even don't know where this woman lives. Don't have any idea. But they can tell a story and shape it in a way that <laughs> if it is a close, it will fit you. May the Lord strengthen us. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. He said, for therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God who is the Savior of all men. Why? We read verse 1. He said, now the Spirit explicitly says that in the latter times some shall depart from faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of the devil speaking lies in hypocrisy and having their conscience snared with iron, they say hot iron, forbidden. And so there are many things that is going on in this Christian dome. The Bible says that Peter and John, in the house of the apostle, in the house of the apostle chapter 4, healed a cripple who was lying at the gate, beautiful gate. And that was their sin. And by healing, this man went into the synagogue, praising God and jumping, testifying to the glory of God, what God has done in his life. A child of God, if God continues to do something, speak boldly to the people, announce the goodness of our God. 
Be honest, do you go to the social media? In our end time, it is the gospel that is mock. But may we forbid that our lives and everything that we do, we part of the mockery. We pray that we will be examples of believers that will lift the name of our Lord Jesus Christ higher. Lift the banner of our Lord Jesus higher. Our Jesus is able to behold their threats. Grant us power so that we'll be able to stand. My prayer for you that a child of God, you'll be able to stand. Be able to stand. God told Joshua, God told Joshua, when Moses died, and God called Joshua. God told Joshua that Joshua, my son, Joshua, be strong and of good courage. For unto these people shall thou divide for an inheritance the land which I swear unto thee, thy fathers. All you need to do is to stand strong, oh, my, my brother, my sister, child of God. Stand strong in the Lord. Do the will of God. Learn not of your own understanding, but in everything. Acknowledge the Lord. Acknowledge the Lord. He will direct your paths. Let God go before you, my brother, my sister. There is no other way. It's only Jesus Christ. It's only Jesus Christ. A name that people don't want to hear. Nobody want to hear. Religious people don't want to hear. Even Christians don't want to hear. Pastors don't want to hear. When you start preaching about Jesus Christ, they don't want to hear. But there is no other name given unto man to be saved under the sun. Except in the name of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ said that the Son of Man came to seek for that which was lost. And I thank God that some of us, we are one of those who were lost. And through the grace, and through His grace, that He sought us and found us. No wonder some people, when you you still meet them, they say that the twins, they were thieves, they were this, they were this. You can say all everything, but we, we thank God. That grace has sought us and found us. That we can preach that there is only one way. And that way is Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ. God told him to be strong and be courageous. It's only that be strong and be courageous. That thou may observe to do according to all the laws which Moses my servant. My brother, a child of God, listen, there is no other way. Somebody sang a song. He said, when you walk with the Lord... In the light of his word, a glory he shares on our way. While he you do his good will, he abides with us still, with all who will trust and obey. Trust and obey. For there is no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey. To so if you want to be happy in the Lord Jesus Christ, trust and obey. Live a righteous life. The Bible says, For the eye of the Lord is running to and fro. Seeking only the righteous people to show himself strong. There is always a condition. There is always a condition. Go into the Bible. Everything is about the righteous. Those who love God. Those who are called according to his purpose. That is what it is. Now that God told Joshua, do not let this book depart from you. But meditate upon it. Day and night. You meditate upon the word of God day and night. And you see, when you go into the scripture, all men and women of God, people that went through difficult times, they, were, they had one common thing that they did. They all filed a petition with God. They all went before their needs in prayer. Prayer. Prayer that comes from the bottom of your heart. They prayed a prayer that was from their heart. Jabez did the same thing. Jabez prayed the prayer. When you read First Chronicles 4, and verse 9, the Bible says Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Why? The Bible started from the end. The end from the beginning. Started talking about his end from the beginning. That is why Jesus said through the word, he says that for I know the thought I have for you, not evil, to give you a future and a hope. Again, he said, all things work together for us. Those who love God. <coughs> and those who are called according to his purpose. And those who are called according to his purpose. It will work together for 
they had one thing in common that a petition was filed before God. A petition was filed. Jabez filed a petition before God. Let me go read and you see how Jabez filed his petition. First Chronicles 4. And I read the verse 9 and 10. The Bible says, And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabez, saying, Because I bore, I bear him with sorrow. With sorrow. Woman, let me ask you, what kind of sorrow are you walking in? Are you facing? It can be childless. Maybe you went into the marriage praying that all oh, that you said that you have your own children that you will grow, that you look to. But the enemy, the devil, have denied you from. Hey, in our African communities, people are, are, are evil. They are very wicked. They are very wicked. Remember, there are some people as you. You sit down and, and thinking about how you are going to build and the joy. Some people also have time to sit down and think about your failure. And so somebody somewhere thinking about your failure will lock that womb. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. And so your trouble and your pain becomes your, your, your marriage. Yet there are some people, they have also had the children, but the enemy has taken their home from their hands. They are the home from their hands. May tender fire them. Hey, anybody who is sitting down, thinking evil, meditating or fighting against your life, your home, may tender look at them. May the fire of God look at them. Yesterday I, I, I heard a story that it was so sad for me. I don't know how far it is true. But I believe there a little bit of truth in this. That an 18 year old girl who was befriending, they having a relationship with a boyfriend. And the boy took, when, when they, they, they have sex, the boy would take everything about the gay, that girl and take it to the shrine. And no, the, this young girl began to get sick. And before she died, maggots were, were, were coming out from her under. People are so wicked. The child of God, people are so wicked. No wonder the Bible says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, against principalities and powers. But remember, the devil cannot do anything except through human beings. The same thing, God. God will never do anything on this earth. He uses people. And so, so long as you avail yourself, and so long as you avail yourself, if you avail yourself, the devil will use you. Human beings are around people, they are very wicked. May those who dig a pit before you, may they fall into their own pit. May they fall into their own pit. Those who set a trap before you, may they, may they fall into their own pit. There are some people, they are very energetic. But somebody somewhere will sit somewhere and destroy. No, you think everybody who is failing in life is lazy? Who told you? Not everybody. Go to Africa. The reason why we are failing is wickedness, evil. Is evil. Because we, we consult other boss. Most leaders, one way or the other, are seeking other boss. And so when they come to the throne, they have to do what the Spirit... But Jesus told us what the devil came to do. He said he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And so nobody will follow the devil that can do anything better and good. They sold themselves to the devil. In African, our problem is not religion. Our problem is individual. Everybody go to my country, Ghana. <laughs> from, from the common man to the, the top, everybody. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. My brother, my sister, the only way is Jesus Christ. It's Jesus Christ. Jabez, the Bible says he was more honorable. And the mother called him Jabez because he born out of sorrow. But this is one thing that Jabez did. Jabez filed a petition before God. He filed a petition before God. And let's hear what he hear. His petition. Go before God in prayer. Pour your heart before God. Lift up a prayer before God. There is one common thing for all this. Is that they found a petition before God. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
Jabez said, said that, and Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, Dad, that thou would bless me indeed. He realized one thing. Jabez realized one thing that the Bible said, The blessings of the Lord make us rich, and it had no sorrow. It has no sorrow. Somebody once told me, once told me that the devil can also bless. Hey, I did not pray to God that the devil can bless. Go and read. When you read Matthew 4, he took Jesus to the tabernacle and said, If you can throw yourself down, if you, if you can bow to me, I'll give everything. And so there are people who are sold their soul to the devil. Go to Ghana, go to Africa, come to America, go throughout the world. There are people who are sold their soul. Come to the church, there are pastors. You see them as pastors, but they have sold their soul to the devil. But remember, the devil will not give you something for nothing. He gives you in order to use you to destroy. And after you, he uses you to destroy, he will destroy you too. He will destroy you. But the good news is that Jesus said, I came that you may have life and have it more abundantly. The Bible says in him is life and that life is the light of man. Jesus says, so long as I am on, in the world, I am the light of man. Jesus is the light of man. Follow Jesus Christ. Come to him. And you have salvation for your soul. Jabez asked God to bless him. The Bible says that Jabez called the God. He said, Thou bless me. And remember, it is only God that can bless God into the Bible. And when God blesses you, he had no sorrow. He had no sorrow. Somebody told me, just look very carefully. And I sat down and I looked very carefully. That there are many rich people who go to Africa. <laughs> The, the, the rich people, when they die, their children cannot inherit them or take good care of their, 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 their inheritance. You know the reason why. You know the reason why. The, the means through which they acquire <laughs> their belongings through sacrifice. <laughs> if their children inherit it, they have to do the same sacrifice. If you are not able to do the same sacrifice, you cannot maintain the inheritance. <laughs> the, the inheritance of the devil you have to sacrifice before you, you, you receive it and so the, those who know before they die they, they will take their children and show them the way if they have they are Freemason the Illuminati they are all gods they show them and they place them may the Lord help us to do his will and live a righteous life a righteous life. Jabez said, enlarge my coast. Jabez knew that it was only God who bring enlargement. Somebody will say, but pastor, I've been praying and praying and, and calling for enlargement. Yes, <laughs> you have prayed. But the Bible says, faith without works is, is, is dead. As you prayed and as you have faith, take a step of faith. Start doing, start investing, start doing. Manna don't fall from heaven. You have to move. You have to take a step of faith before by working. And the Lord will bless you and strengthen you. Jabez realized that that is and that thy hand may be with me is the presence of God. Is the presence of God. And that would keep me from evil. Also help me not to live in sin. Sin. Sin will destroy you. Sin will, will not allow you to sit upon your throne. As a child of God, it will disgrace you. It will cause, it will cause the enemy to have a way. The Lord told Cain that sin is, is lying at your door. Be careful, master it. It is true. I know I am a man and had a shop for my shop. You are going to a glory. He, um, I say, I know a man who uh, was going to a grocery and he died. Only children is dying one by one. And his father, by name Maxi, for his son and his son's Christ is about the bless you, Barbara Daniel. He's testifying. He knows a man who did the same thing. Many people, their inheritance is not of God. Their inheritance is not of God. Nobody, no, you have to, you have to, that devil, for the devil you have to sacrifice before he gives to you.
you have to sacrifice. I pray in the name of Jesus. Maybe you have ended the, 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 the road that leads to destruction. And leading the, the devil, you are happy. There are people, they are happy. They think that, oh, I am making it. Stepping on other people, doing everything. Hey, there is time for everything. Hey, child, don't call somebody. There is time for everything. My prayer is that you begin to know the Lord. And begin to do. Somebody sang a song, I know the Lord. Who makes a way for me. If I live. A holy life shine around and do the right. I know the Lord, the Lord who make a way for me. Again, listen, I know the Lord, I know the Lord who makes a way, a way for me. If I live. A holy light shine around and do the right. I know the Lord, I know the Lord who makes a way, a way for me. Those who don't understand our language, maybe try to sing it in my language. Me name Seradi, Obebue Kwambi. Ah, a mame, semi bobra pa, ebra e hunti u a, na mi jai boni ye, na mi ye papa, mi ni mse radi, ube buwe kwe mi, ah, mame, oh, the Lord, who make a way, a way for me. When we were growing in the churches, these are some of the songs that you hear the church singing. But where are these songs? Where are these songs? Because we have a leader who preach. You are going to move forward. I see you getting big. I see you this. I see you this. Lies from heaven. Old Christian soldier. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that we begin to do the will of God and live a righteous life. The Bible says, and God granted Jabez what he requested for. He said, Jabez requested that God will bless him. God will bless him and lead him. As of the Apostle verse 4, the Bible said the disciples had dread. They were warned not to preach. They, they put them in prison. And after that day, they told them not to preach in the name of our Lord. Peter asked them, how it is good to listen to you than to God. But verse 29, as of the Apostle 29, he said, Now, Lord, behold their threats. Grant unto thy servants that we, with all boldness, that they may speak the word. And by stretching forth their hands to heal, that signs and wonders may be done by the name of thy holy child Jesus Christ. And when they had prayed, the place that were the place was shaken where they have assembled together, and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost, and they speak the word of God with boldness. They spoke the word of God with boldness. They pleaded their father petition before God, and the Holy Spirit was granted to them. And the Bible says, go into the Bible, every place you see that the earth was shaken is through prayer. It's through prayer. It's through prayer. I pray in the name of Jesus that the end time Christianity, end time child of God, will, we will change our heart. I will every day say it and I'll continue to say it. Most of our Christ, charismatic leaders, they have deceived us. And they have allowed themselves for the devil to use them to fulfill what Jesus told us that the end time will come. Pray that you will not be part, and I will not be part. But we will be examples of believers, preaching and leading people to heaven, not to hell. They filed their petition to God. And the Bible says that the Lord heard them. The second thing is that the troubles of Israel were reportedly directly to God as if God did not see it. <laughs> Hallelujah. When you look into the Bible, these men of God 
God on the Lord as if God did not, is not seeing or knowing what. Woman, listen to me. A child of God, listen to me. You may be on your sick bed and think that God has denied you. I heard a man who was jokingly and I felt pity. He said, you serve a God. Some people believe that there is a, 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 a supernatural being somewhere and he loved people. He loved people. He loved money and he has prepared a place to Ignorant is a disease. Ignorant is a disease. And there are some people, they are sold, they are sold to the devil. And so if they don't do it, the devil will kill them. They come and joke. There is no joke in the kingdom. Remember the Bible says, Blessed are dead who do not sit in the council of the ungodly. No sit us, sinners. No stand in the way of mockers. But their delight is in the law of the Lord. And in that law they meditate upon day and night. They are like trees that are planted by the rivers of waters. A child of God, when you meditate upon the word, be careful where you stand. Be careful where you sit. Be careful where you walk. The people you walk with. The Bible says evil communication corrupt good manners. What has the temple of God, what agreement has the temple of God to do with bar? What agreement has the righteous with the unrighteous? Let's look at the people you work with. They file their complaint. <laughs> they pray to God. They talk to God as a friend. They called him. Jabez called the Lord. Reported. When you see this, then you see that the, the disciple they call on God. God knew what they were going through. God knows what you are going through, my brother, my sister. And this is one thing that many people don't know. Because God has given us our will. The Bible says in the beginning God created man. And he created man in his image. And gave us our will. And so you have your will to decide. That is why when you go into the Bible, Joshua did the same thing. Joshua chapter 24 verse 15, Joshua called the Israelites, assembled them together and said, choose see the God that you serve. Choose see the God, either the God that was at the back of the rivers or the God of our fathers. But he's made it firm that I and my house we will serve the Lord. Listen to me, woman. Listen to me, my brother. You can choose the God that you serve. You hear some people that they say that it is the Christianity is a white man gospel lies. Lies. You sit down. You sit down. And 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 talk about something you don't know. Go to our villages. Go to our villages. Go to I will talk to you. That go to my mother's family. Go to my father's family. The gods that they serve is destroying. <laughs> go there, go to my father's family. You go there, it's a love with women. And the, the eyes are red. They are evil demons. They will kill you. You don't know what I am talking about. I know what I am talking about. I know what I am talking. The young men, honorable men's life have turned into rags. If you go up, they will bring you down. Go to my mother's family. I know some families. They are very wicked. Why? Because they have demonic shrine, demonic altars that fight against them. And so you sit down and say that we have God. Ignorant. Ignorance. Then some of us, we don't know. I thank God. I every day will thank God. That some of us that are preaching, we are not ignorant men. That is one thing I thank God. And that is why the reason why I preach with passion, I know what I am preaching about. You go to the villages, those who worship idols, their lives are being destroyed. Go and see, they are sitting in the houses. But those who accepted the word, go into their families, doctors, professors, honorables. Yesterday you sit down, you sit down and deceive yourself. You deceive yourself. You deceive yourself. Because you have gone to a fetish place and have to a voodoo for you. Thinking that everything is going where you pay the price. You pay the price. You pay the price. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. That somebody, if you come to the Lord Jesus, you do the will of God. Seek the, the truth in the Lord Jesus Christ. Don't look to man. Don't look to, <laughs> there are evil people. The same time Jesus' time. The Bible says Jesus, during his time, he went to the temple. And instead of using it as a house of prayer, they were, they were buying and selling. The same thing goes on. 
in our generation. Wrong to some of the men of God think it's money. It's money. I went to uh, uh, about two days ago. Listen to me. I, 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 I do it and I do it every day. I don't preach for money. I don't preach because of what you give to me. I went to a store to buy. I went to a store to buy something. To buy, to make grocery. And a woman, uh, God saw me. Saw me. And she went around. The owner of the store went around. Picked some yam. Picks, uh, it, it, uh, it was a handful of money. And I, I, after I was praying for my, he said, I, Oh, a man of God, I want to bless your life. And with this, I said, Oh, don't add it up. I don't need it. Please. The woman was looking at her. I said, Please don't add it up. And this woman was surprised. Because every man of God that goes there, this woman will take her and what she is selling and give to the man of God. And there's this man of God who humbly and happily receive it. Receive it. It is not biblical. You go into the Bible, you say, people who have quotation to support it. Do you know the reason why? I told you, woman, listen. I am coming from work. This is your work that you do. And so if any man of God comes, and you give, and you give, you give all your profit, and you run, you, you run your business down, then you come to the church and pray that God my business. God my business. Don't give your profit to me. If the Lord bless you, use it and sell it. That is what your family will live on. I am coming from work. I am being paid. And so everything I am come to buy, I will pay for it. I don't need it free. This woman of God was standing there in shock. He told me, ah, you uh, so far every day tell people. I have seen one man that I believe he is doing the work of God. He tell people, if you don't come closer to this man, you don't know how he loved the Lord. I told you a story. Let me tell you. There was one rich family from Nigeria that came to America. And I was doing a program. I was preaching and the Lord gave me a revelation about this woman. I called her. And I began to, I saw a man holding a knife standing before the woman. I saw it when I was preaching. There was a man holding a knife at the uh, I, and so I, I, was, I was just wipe, wipe my face as you know. And I stopped and I called that woman. And she was heavily pregnant. And I started telling her what I have seen. This woman cried and told me everything. Told me. I am not saying somebody said it. I am saying it. They're from Nigeria. And so we prayed for the father-in-law. Who was a very ritualist and told the girl that if she give birth and have the child, the, the father is going to die. But that child and that girl will die. And so the girl, her due date was even over. Over. And this guy was crying. Girl was crying every day. I never knew anything about it. Never knew anything about it. We prayed and God delivered her. God delivered her safely. Immediately she was delivered. The husband paid the ticket and came to America because they wanted to name have a naming ceremony. The husband was happy because he himself was trouble because of what was going on in the family. And so on the day of the naming, they took a very huge sum of money. My brother was there. They told me to come and pray for the child, and they told me also, "Oh, well, we want to bless you with this." I said, "No, no, I don't need it." I don't need it. Hey, me, unless I am led by the Spirit, you cannot get me. A man of God told me, also, well, you have to get these things because that is what, oh, oh, oh. I thank God I work. I am not against anybody. But many homes, many lives, many ministries have collapsed because of this. Not everything that comes from people's hands comes from the Lord. There are some money that comes from the devil. This woman and the husband, they were surprised. Everybody that was surprised, I said, no, 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 you don't get me for that. I am content in the ministry. That is why myself, I preach on the radio, I preach everywhere. Nobody can say, oh, some grand they have to see me. May your money perish. We use money for our ministry. I come to our church. People that don't give, 
But thank God, when I was born, I was coming, I come with my brother. My brother was stand with me, we pay the church, we would do everything. And yes, the God continue to bless us. Some people, when you see us, don't think that we are preaching because we don't have a job to do. I thank God I am educated. I thank God I do work and I thank God that some of us will preach the true word of God. When we hold their mind, even those who think they are, they begin to shake. They wouldn't even have friend or oh, sorry. <laughs> I will preach the true word of God. I will lead the people to the throne of Jehovah. I will tell them about the God Jesus Christ. <laughs> nobody pays us. Nobody. We don't know. May the Lord strengthen us. This book with boldness. There is one thing about all of them. A war was declared against the opposing foe. They declare war. An instant divine intervention was requested. That is, even if God is not going to give you the cash now, you can at least go. They prayed an instant prayer. <laughs> May the Lord strengthen you. My brother, my sister, I am talking about the threat. He said, Behold, God, they are threat. They are threat. How? Look at how we have been threatened. Grant unto your servants that with all boldness that we will speak the word of God that we will live. I pray that woman, I pray that man, that the Lord will strengthen you. Continue. There is a crown. In this life, there is a crown. In the life to come, again, there is a crown for those who will patiently wait and do the will of God. For those who do the will of God, there are crowns waiting for us. And one day, one day when our Jesus come, Luke chapter 18 verse 28, Peter said, Lord, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto him, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that have left house, parents, brethren, wife, children, for the kingdom's sake, who shall not receive a mindful more in this present time and in the world to come everlasting. There is, there is a crown of life that God will give. And so in this life you receive in the name of Jesus, live a righteous life, do the will of God and follow the Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Our God is able, He's faithful. Our God is faithful. He will surely do it. There are many, many men and women in the Bible. The same thing happened to Elisha. Elisha, when you read First Kings 18, from nowhere that Elisha came. And the Bible says that these, these Jewish the people, there were 450 prophets, 450 prophets, and four, and so they were in a, a, all together there were 800. Some that ate at the table of Jezebel, 400, and those 450 that were in the groups. When you read First Kings chapter 22, the same prophet were prophesying to Ahab, lying to Ahab. And the only prophet that came that spoke was Micaiah. The same thing was Micaiah. When Micaiah started prophesying the right thing, the king Ahab put him in jail. He said they put him, bind him. I am going to a war when I come back, feed him with uh, uh, the food of affliction, torture him. But this man of God told him, and uh, Ahab never came. He did not come from the war. He, he, he died. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister, only few people will understand and listen to. And my prayer is that you will be among that few people. You will be among that few people that will live. Elijah was only the only one. Elijah was the only one against all the prophets of Baal. Let me go and read it and we're going to pray. And continue tomorrow. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody in America. Tomorrow is our Thanksgiving. And it starts, it starts from today. The Thanksgiving weekend is one of the greatest holidays in America. 
It's one of the greatest holidays in America. <laughs> Everybody, uh, almost every job uh, closes down. Almost everyone, few of them uh, goes. Hallelujah. The Bible says, and uh, Elijah from nowhere came. And the people, the people, the man of God says, let me go read verse 1 and say, and it came to pass. After many days, the word of the Lord came to Elijah and the dead years, saying, Go, show thy servant to Ahab. I will send rain upon the earth. And Elijah went to show himself unto Ahab. And there was so famine in Samaria. And Ahab called on Obadiah, which was the governor of the house. And so let me jump, jump to verse 10. And as the Lord God lived, there is no nation that kingdom. Okay, and he answered him, I am go telling the Lord, behold, Elijah is here. He said, Go and tell. And when he saw Elijah in verse 15, he said, and Elijah said, As the Lord of hosts liveth before whom I stand, I will surely show myself unto him this day. And Obadiah went to meet Ahab and told him. And Ahab went to meet Elijah, and he came to pass. When Ahab saw Elijah, Ahab said, Art thou he that troubled Israel? What man, what man. But listen to what, what Elijah said. Elijah said, answered, he said, I have not troubled Israel, but thou and thy father's house, in that you have forsaken the commandments of the Lord, and I have followed by you sit down and follow other gods and don't follow God. Live a righteous life and do the will of God. Behold, God, their threat, give us, grant us the boldness. What is the threat that surrounds you? What are the things that you are going through? Look to Jesus Christ. Lay not on your own understanding. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you find fulfillment for your soul. Find a church. Go to a church where you hear the word of God. Not every church you go. There are some churches God has never been there and will never be there. Go to a place that you hear the word of God they live, and they will tell you to live a righteous life. Do the will of God. Not a church whereby the man will come and begin. <laughs> begin. Now there's, most churches are like the, 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 the shrine. The fair, they will come and begin to conjure. I don't know where this thing comes from. Oh, they will tell you uh, tomorrow you are going to go through. I, I, I and you, you just move on. The Lord is going to bless you, and they make you feel so comfortable, uh, and, they, and you are inspired. Inspiration without the Spirit of God. Inspiration without the Word of God. Inspiration without righteousness and living a holy life. It's, it's not. A, it's not of God. Elijah prayed. And the Bible said, fire fell. Let's go and pray. And we continue tomorrow. In Jesus' name. Find a church. And go. Say this after. Say, Lord Jesus, today I. I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Father, your way says. If anybody made you, he's a new creature. No things are past and everything become new. As I've accepted you. And believe in your word. You order my steps. Until you come or coming from this earth in Jesus' name, Amen. Find a church. There are good churches. There are churches whereby you go, you you find salvation for your soul. And good, they will tell you to live a righteous life. They will not just inspire you for nothing. But when you sit down, you are walking and seeing the Holy Spirit, not the man of God. The Holy Spirit will bring conviction. So you maybe you may be going to a church, continue to live in your sin, threatens. Either you yourself, there are some people they have had in your cell, their heart. No matter what you do to them, they have decided to leave. And most of them have excuses for themselves. They surround them themselves with excuses. People who even kill people have excuse. Yesterday I was I was listening to a guy, a guy, and I know that he he. he is very knowledgeable, intelligent, and he has been incarcerated in prison in Ghana for 
uh, uh, he's on life support, uh, uh, sorry, a death rule. And this guy is speaking in remorse. He says that they were having salah. Uh, and after, at the end of the salah, there was a fight that broke up. He took a stick and hit one, one boy in the head. The boy fell down and died. He took him to the hospital and died. And for three years, he was jailed and put on death row. And this guy was in remorse. Yeah, all I say that there are some people you have to be very careful. Anger. Anger has taken many people to a place that they get angry. They forget themselves. They want to destroy before. If you don't take care before you come to yourself, you have destroyed. Destroy many good things. But there are some things in life you cannot reverse it. Let's be careful and allow the Holy Spirit to lead us in everything. And so go to a, a church whereby the Holy Spirit will lead you and guide you. And you do the will of God. There are some churches God has never been there before because the pastor himself is dead. It's like a cemetery. There are some churches that no, you go there. If grace don't sort you, you go to hell. Because they themselves, they are working for the devil and they are leading people to, the, to hell. They have consulted these uh, courts. May the Lord help us that we will be able to locate and do the will of God. God bless you. Let's enter into a time of prayer. Begin to thank God. Open your mouth and say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Begin to thank God. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless his name. Bless him and say, Lord, I thank you for my life. I thank you. Thank God. Just thank God. Just bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Begin to thank God. Yes, thank God. Bless his name. Let's begin to thank him. Bless the name of the Lord. Just thank him. Say, Jesus, I thank you. Thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him, thank him. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Bless his name. Just bless the name of the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Somebody thank the Lord. Bless the name of the Lord. We are thanking our God. We are blessing the name of our Lord Jesus. Just thank him. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for my life. I thank you for my spouse's life, my husband's life, my wife's life. I thank you for my children's life. Just begin to thank God for every situation that you are in. The Bible says, it work together for good for those who love God. I am talking about those who love God. I am talking about those who are called according to His purpose, their purpose and the will of God. Just say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for every situation. I thank you. Just begin to thank God because the Bible says He knows that thought He has for you. It is working together for you, God. God is bringing the good out of you. God is changing your life, is changing your situation. If only you live a righteous life, if only you follow after righteousness in the name. Jesus Rika da bujanda da banda priya da ba e kanta da brando zi ba yenti di braka do bujanda e bujan kanta da borondi di be in the name of Jesus somebody pray with us oh be a man for pray pray in the name of Jesus pray in the name of Jesus pray in the name of Jesus Rika da bujanta da branda zu korondo priya da ba in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus oh be a man for thank God bless the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you in the name of Jesus. We are praying. The first thing we know that every man and woman of God that went through aff affliction, that went through threats, that situation they confronted, all of them petitioned to God. We will talk about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Talk about Daniel, Elijah, Ezra. You talk about Nehemiah. When Nehemiah confronted uh, Tobiah and Sambalat, when they were, he was building, they were building the wall. He faced opposition, he faced threat. But all of them, one way or the other, petitioned to God, they filed a complaint before God. I don't know what you are going through. Yours may not be Sambalat and Tobiah, but it may be a sickness. Sickness that have bedridden you, have put you. You know there are people who are walking energetically, but their spirit man or woman has been put in demonic prison. Somebody, somebody will put you in prison, spiritual prison. You see it in your dreams. Somebody will steal from you spiritually and make you poor. 
We are praying in the name of Jesus that everybody who has lifted his horns against you, who have lifted his any demon, any witch, any spirit, we are going to pray the prayer that Paul and Silas prayed in their prisons as of the apostle chapter 16 and the verse 25. The Bible said at midnight Paul and Silas prayed and sing songs and suddenly there was an earthquake let an earthquake enter the camps of our enemies those who are conjuring those who are meditating those who are using spirits against us we are calling the fire of God we are calling the tender of God into which have comes the money comes into shrines into occultic meetings wherever they have gathered in the power of the Holy Ghost let fire locate them Elijah call fire let the fire of God locate them everywhere say Lord Jesus Say it in the name of Jesus. Again, say it after me. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the blood of Jesus. Every demonic gathering, every demonic wish, wherever they have gathered in secret, without my knowing or taking against my life, whoever is posing threat, chanting, and fighting against your health, say my health, my children, my family, my work, my handiwork, wherever they are, I command the tenor, the earthquake there, that Lord you answer, Paul and Sarah, let the earthquake look in the spiritual earthquake, let the fire that Elijah call look in them, let the spirit of God Christ them, every demonic cramp, which cramp come, wherever they are sent that come, under the sea, on top of the mountain, in the spiritual realm, let them receive the fire of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, 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 release fire, release fire, release it and deliver yourself deliver yourself anything that is holding your life any demonic case that they have placed your health that sickness must leave you right now in the name of jesus in the blood of your mouth and pray deliver yourself pray and deliver yourself call the name of the lord jesus call the blood use the blood and say father every spirit any demon wherever they are hiding my life let them receive the fire of the holy ghost I command them, I command the Spirit of God into my mother's family, my father's family, into friends, into the community of Houston. Every demon, every witch can come, receive fire. Every God they come. I release the tender of God. I release the fire of God into the accounts. Every witch can come, receive fire. Receive fire. Receive fire. Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, 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 pray with us, open your mouth and say, we are praying in the power of the Holy Ghost, we are praying in the name of Jesus, command it, command it, command it, command it, pray with us, somebody pray with us. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and begin to pray with us. Yes, command it, pray with us. In the name of Jesus. I pray fire. I pray fire. Every spirit that is chanting against our lives, against our ministry. Oh, Jesus Christ. Papa, look at them. Every malam, every voodoo, everyone who have evil spirit waging war against our ministry, against our lives. Holy Ghost, I command fire, I command tender, I crush you the blood of Jesus. Yes, but young club anymore. Let the blood of Jesus, I strike them with the blood of Jesus. I command fire, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost, fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody pray with us. Help your mouth and continue to pray. Rika da bojanti de branda. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, pray with us. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord Jesus, everyone, the threat, we are praying against everyone. The threat that they pray, we pray, we pray, we command it into their camps. Whoever is poor. 
using his chanting, his meditating, his fighting, his issuing against our lives, against your children. Say, Lord, I command and I did my children, those who are fighting against your marriage, against your womb, against your family. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Rikada bojanda da branda su korono briada ba. E bojanda da borono briada bojanda da ba. E bojanda da branda su korono briada ba. E na ne mo Jesus ina ne mo Jesus. Rikada bojanda da banda su na da ba. Rikada bojanda de branda su korono briada ba. E na ne mo Jesus zika do borono briada ba. E na ne mo Jesus zika do do borono briada ba. E bojanda da borono briada. We are praying in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we bless your name. We give you glory. Eboja kada borono riada boja nada ba eboja nde de branda zu korono riada ba Father we thank you Lord we bless you we give you all the praise we give you glory in the name of Jesus we continue to pray we are praying there are some people the enemy has already placed them in demonic prison like Paul and Silas they were in prison there are some people that right now you are on your sick bed. The enemy has already stretched forth his hand. Like Jabez. Jabez was walking in sorrow. He grew up in sorrow. Everything about him was in sorrow. There are some people that your children, your womb, the enemy has locked that woman. I don't believe in barrenness. Yes, there is. But the reason why I said that, that all the barren people in the Bible are that went before God had their children. God opened their womb. And so when you pray and you wait patiently before God, that hand that is holding that womb will be broken. We come from a wicked, a wicked place. Let me tell you a story. When I got married, I am not saying somebody said, I am saying it. When I got married, my best friend, my best friend, Somebody I call a brother. Somebody I he laying on very evil. Very evil. Not knowing he was sent into our life to destroy us. But he came like a lamb. I thought he was a friend. A oh, good friend. On a day of our wedding, sent and bought a bed a bed sheet. He bought a bed sheet. Folded it very good. Brought it and said that oh, Steve. Yeah, because I love you and your wife. On the day of your wedding, your, your honeymoon, just sleep on this bed, best spread. The best spread, yes. And so happily, when I took the best spread, we got to our honeymoon. My, my wife took it from my hands and said, We are not going to sleep on this. We're not going to sleep on this. And we went and threw the best sheet away. Waited for a week. Waited for two weeks. This my friend got angry. Somebody I call a friend, I call a brother. I am not saying somebody saying that many homes have been destroyed. You don't know. You don't know. Somebody was was was, was having a wedding. You see, some women will come and clean your face with handkerchiefs. If me, I will slap you. There are some of them. Hey, some of them will come and wipe your face to wipe the glory in the marriage. They are very evil. And this friend fought with us and went to elder church elders and they called him. The pastor asked him, You gave them a, a bed shed. They have, they, they have to decide what they want to do. But why are you fighting? He said, If they had slept on it, I would know somebody. Because he used, he used the bed shed. My brother, my sister, that day, there are some people, they will be friends. The day of their wedding, after their wedding, they become enemies. <laughs> uh, African people, we are wicked. We are wicked. Once you have time to sit down and build your family, somebody also have time. will take it as a business to sit down and find a way to destroy that family. May tender locate them. 
He will ever have evil intention against your life, against your family, against your children. He made the tender of God look at them, Father, correct them. In their homes, in the whoever is fighting our homes, our lives, our ministry, the evil which is a wizard. Pray in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray. There are people who have found themselves already trapped. You are praying that God, the answer by fire. You are praying that God deliver me. Every demonic seed that they have sown in your life, every pain, every trouble, just petition, petition to God. Petition to God, pray to God and say, God, I petition my life to you. I petition every demonic seed, every trouble that they have sown in my life. May you lift up your hands and begin to break it. Say, Lord Jesus, say it. Say it in the name of Jesus. Every demonic seed that they have sown in my life. The word of God says, when men slept, the enemy sow a seed. Every seed of pain, trouble, every seed of delay, backwardness, limitation, sickness that have been sown in my life, in my marriage. I command the Holy Spirit to approach it now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Command it, command it, command it that the Lord will approach every demonic seed in your life, in your family's life, in the name of Jesus, in the name of in the name of Jesus, open your mouth. Somebody pray with us. I pray that Lord, let the Holy Spirit approach any demonic seed, any demonic plantation, any demonic cage, any demonic prison that you find yourself, anything that is holding your life, demonic captivity. Jesus said, For the Spirit of God is upon me, that the Lord has anointed me to preach the gospel, to deliver the captive. Let the Lord deliver you from any demonic captivity that you find yourself. Captivity of sickness, the captivity of poverty. Poverty is a spirit. I tell you, poverty is a spirit. They will show that spirit in you, and anything that you touch. Hey, there are people they are striving, they are doing four jobs, five jobs. And listen, there are many people they will they work five jobs and they will not enjoy their money. Some people even cannot buy even a uh, bed spread and sleep on. They cannot even eat good food. They themselves, all they do is they work and send the money. And even they will build houses and die without even sleeping in the... We are praying in the name of Jesus. Every captivity, every demonic spirit, every covenant, every altar in your mother's family, your father's family, every shrine, every witchcraft home, within your community that have located you, everywhere that your enemies have sold you to every demonic agent, working and meditating, against you. Oh God, arise. Papa, let us arise and let our enemies be scattered. Those who gather together, every evil intention, we crush them. We command the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus.